How long do you intend on having Kiera stay with us? Her school's already started. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. We're giving away Kiara to the both of you. You wanted kids, but you can't have any of your own, right? What? Huh? You should be happy. Now you have a child of your own. Trouble Busters! My name is Alan, and my wife Melanie and I run a private after-school academy for elementary and middle school students. See you again tomorrow, Mr. Allen. See you tomorrow, Ken. Goodbye, Mr. Allen and Miss Melanie. See you tomorrow. Be safe. I love our students. They're so adorable. I can't wait to have children of our own. I know that it's taking longer than expected, but we need to be patient. It'll happen naturally. Melanie and I get along great, and our academy's doing well too. The only thing that we want and don't have yet are children. You we were trying to be patient, but I could tell that Melanie was becoming anxious. You want us to look after Kiara? Yes, the rest of us are off to an amusement park. How come Kiara isn't going with you guys? Because she's a fatty. She's too heavy to go on any of the rides. She's only a child. She's not that heavy. Well, I don't want anyone to see us with our fat child. It's embarrassing. Why would you say such a horrible thing about your daughter? She's not really family, more like a fat dog to us. <laughs> Don't laugh. You're being unfair to Kiara. Well, we're happy to look after Kiara while you guys go out. Thanks, Alan. I knew that I could count on you. Thank you, Alan. Mommy, Daddy, let's go. I can't wait to try out all the rides. Let's take a lot of photos, too. Great idea. Karen's so pretty, and it's fun taking photos with her. <laughs> I totally agree. Thank you for having me today. Make yourself at home. Kiara, how do you want to spend the day? I can help you clean the house. Oh, there's no need for that. Let's do something fun. How about we bake some cookies together? Wow, that sounds like fun. Great. We're so happy to be able to spend the day with our cute niece. My parents don't think that I'm cute at all. Well, they must have bad eyes if they don't see how cute you are. I agree. You have a beautiful face and a kind heart. Actually, I have an idea. Since the weather is nice today, should we go to an amusement park as well? Are you sure? I didn't bring any money with me. You don't need to do that. Don't worry about money. It's on me. Yay! We're going to have so much fun together. We took the car and drove to a different amusement park from the other one that my sister and her family had gone to. Kiara seemed excited to be at the amusement park. She was shy, but I could see her smiling. We spent a fun day at the amusement park and made our way home. It was getting late, but my sister hadn't gotten in touch with me yet to let me know when she was picking Kiara up. I texted her, but she didn't respond. I didn't mind that Kiara was spending the night with us, but I felt bad about the fact that her parents showed no interest in her. The weekend was now over, but my sister hadn't come to pick up Kiara yet, so I drove Kiara to her school. After school, I drove Kiara back to her house. What? Could you please say that again? We're giving away Kiara to you. She's a fatty and we don't want her. Did you just call Kiara a fatty? How could you? If this is your idea of a sick joke, it's not funny. It's not a joke. We're serious. You can have Kiara. That's right. She'd be happier living with the two of you anyway. You two wanted a child, right? That's not the point here. Kiara's your child. Why are you also being mean to her? Kiara is not a thing that you just give away. She's a person with feelings. Kiara is not happy here. She'd be much happier with you two. Besides, we don't have the money to raise two kids. Kids are expensive. You and Melanie don't have kids of your own and are well off. You can give Kiara a happy life. Kiara and I don't get along, so I won't miss her. It's like giving away an unwanted dog to a new owner. I couldn't believe what they were saying. They were monsters. They were rotten to the core. I'm starting to think that it would really be better for Kiara to live with us than with her horrible family. It's better for Kiara to move out of this unhealthy living situation. Will you please say yes? It'll mean a lot to us. We've already packed up her things. Don't tell us that we went through all the trouble of packing for nothing. I wasn't going to let my sister and her family bully Kiara anymore. She doesn't deserve to be mistreated. Fine. If Kiara agrees to move in with Melanie and I, we'll be happy to welcome her as our family. We want what's best for Kiara. Great, it's decided then. Yay! I no longer have to live with my fat sister. I was sick of listening to my sister and her family make mean remarks about Kiara. I went over to talk to Kiara to see how she was doing. Kiara stood there speechless and looked really upset. I don't care what happens to me anymore. She finally said. I could tell that she was in deep distress. I knew that the best thing for her was to come and live with us. 
Her family was toxic and draining happiness out of Kiara. Kiara cried as we drove her to our apartment. After some time, she became tired and fell asleep in the car. Melanie, I'm sorry about all this. My sister is unbelievable. I'm gonna have Kiara stay with us for a while and think about what the best thing for her is. You made the right choice, Alan. Kiara shouldn't have to put up with her terrible family. No child should be treated like this. We realized afterward that Kiara had been putting up with a lot of misery at such a young age. My biggest priority now was healing Kiara's heart. Melanie and I were gonna shower Kiara with love and take good care of her. After Kira moved in with us, Melanie and I officially adopted her. Are you sure that you want to be my new parents? I'm fat and ugly as you can see. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're lovely. We are so thrilled to have you as our new daughter. We hope that you feel the same way about us. Thank you so much, Melanie and Alan. Things are going to get better for you, Kira. You'll see. You can rely on us, Kira. Our new life with Kiara began. Kiara was very helpful around the house and she helped us tidy up and cook meals. She was also very smart and excelled in her studies. I could tell that she put in a lot of effort to do her best. Kiara has the best score again! Wow, you're so smart! I studied hard, but Kiara still has a better score than me. Kiara, can we compete in a game of soccer? I think that I could win in soccer. Sure, kid! The students at the academy were all nice to Kiara and she fit right in. Kiara seemed much happier now that she had made some new friends. At first, Kiara was very shy and seemed to lack confidence, but once she felt that the academy was a safe place, she began to open up. After Melanie and I were doing our best to give Kiara a comfortable and happy life, we made time for her and listened to what happened at each school day. Kiara graduated from elementary school and went on to middle school. In middle school, she joined a dance club. Because of her healthy new lifestyle, Kiara had lost a lot of weight and was transformed. By the time she was a university student, all the boys wanted to go out with her because she was so pretty. Before we knew it, Kiara was 20 years old. Time had passed so quickly. I love this kimono. Thank you so much. You look stunning, Kiara. I can't believe how much you've grown, Kiara. You're so beautiful. You two gave me the life that I always dreamed about, and I'm so grateful. I'm so sad about moving out, but I'll come visit often, I promise. We also had a happy life because you were a part of it. So thank you, Kiara. I'm so happy that I got to experience being your mother. Hearing you two say that means so much to me. There's something that I want to tell you today. Alan, open up. What's my sister doing here? I can't believe that she has the nerve to show her face here. I know that you're home. Open the door. Melanie, what should we do? Well, if I had a choice, I don't want to see her. I agree. I'm sure that Kiara definitely wouldn't want to see her. It's okay. I've gotten over my former family. They mean nothing to me. Let me in. It doesn't seem like she's going to give up. She's very persistent. I need to face her or she'll continue to haunt me. If I do this, I can finally get over my past. What took you so long? How come you never got in touch with us after Kiara started living with you here? How rude! What in the world are you doing here? This is Kiara. She's unrecognizable and beautiful. Look how much you've grown. Don't come near her. I am her mother. I'm allowed to go near her. That's right. We're Kiara's real parents. You cut her out of your lives. You have no right to come here and cause trouble. You have no right to call yourselves Kiara's parents. We want nothing to do with you. Now leave. What could you possibly want from us now? Do we need a reason to see our daughter? Actually, we've come to take her back. Why in the world would you do such a thing? We formally adopted her, remember? Look, we came to pick her up because we have to, not because we want to. That's right. Don't make us out to look like the bad guys. We need Kira back for a good reason. I don't know what that reason is, but we're not going to let her leave with you. Now get out of my house before I call the police. Alan, there's no need for you to get so worked up. I'm your sister. We're having some financial problems right now. So what? That's not our problem. Actually, it is. You spread false rumors about us, which tainted our reputation. Now our parents are threatening to cut me out of their will. If our parents aren't going to support us, we only have you to turn to. That's right. We're not asking you to give us money or anything. We just want you to return Kiara to us. She was ours in the first place. We saw Kiara's Instagram page. She goes to one of the top universities in the country. You're pretty amazing. This means that you'll get a fancy job after graduation and you can start to support us financially. We look forward to living with you again, Kiara. You've grown up to be beautiful. And that is going to serve you well in life, too. You might be able to marry a man from a wealthy family. I can see where you got your looks from. You have no right to do that to Kiara after all that you put her through. I won't allow it. I'm her father now. And as Kiara's mother, I won't allow it either. Huh? 
You're not her real parents. We are. I'm the one that carried Kiara in my belly and gave birth to her. I'm allowed to ask her to come live with me again. You may have given birth to Kiara, but you mistreated her and threw her out of your own home. You treated her like trash. You're the one that decided that you didn't want to be her mother anymore. That was a long time ago. I'm allowed to change my mind, right? No, you're not. You can't mess with Kiara's life. Legally, Kiara is our daughter. If you don't believe us, you can go and check the family registry yourself. I don't care what the paperwork says. Kiara is my daughter. We're taking her home with us, and that's that. Melanie, you're not even related to Kiara. Melanie's a great mother to Kiara. You have no right to put Melanie down like this. You may be related to Kiara, but you're not emotionally connected to her like I am. What do you know about being a mother? You've never given birth. You gave birth twice, but you have no idea what it means to be a good mother. My sister and her husband continued to stress the fact that they were Kiara's biological parents. They told us that Kiara would be happier living with them, which was ridiculous. I was now ready to call the police on them, but I was reluctant because I didn't want Kiara's memory of her last day living with us to be about us calling the police on her biological parents. I didn't know how to get rid of my sister and her husband. Kiara, who'd been quiet this entire time, finally spoke up. I won't forgive you for what you did to me, trouble busters. Mom? Dad? Yes? Yes, Kiara? I was talking to my real parents, Alan and Melanie, not you two. Kiara, did you just call me dad? I'm so happy that Kiara considers me as her real mother. I'm 20 years old now, so I think I have a say in this, right? I don't think so. We're your parents and you need to listen to what we say. Is that so? Do you still consider me as your fat old dog then? I'm an adult now and I'm not going to let you control me. This is my life and I'm going to live it the way I want to. My real parents are Alan and Melanie. You two are strangers to me. I want nothing to do with the two of you. I won't listen to a word you say. Now, like my father said, you need to leave. Where are your manners? We raised you for eight years. Show some gratitude. Those eight years were a nightmare for me. A living hell. Barely fed me, and when you did, all you gave me was junk food, nothing nutritional. Then you told me that I was fat and bullied me. My sister Karen got to eat nice, nutritious food, it wasn't fair. That's because you were an ugly child. We didn't want to waste any good food on you. It's not easy to love your children equally when they're so different. I was only being honest. I couldn't hide my true feelings. I know that it's not fair to you, but Karen was the pretty one in the family. That's why she got all the attention. You were born ugly, which is why we favored Karen over you. You shouldn't determine the worth of a child based on their looks. It's not fair. If you didn't love me because you thought I was ugly, that means that you two are shallow. You should have never had me if you weren't going to love me. We didn't plan to have you. It just happened, all right? Now it's time for you to come back to us, Kiara. We can talk some more at home. I'm not going anywhere with you. You abused me and I'm not going to forgive you for it. And you made me do all the housework by myself. A young child is not supposed to be taking care of their parents. It should be the other way around. I wanted you two to love me, which is why I studied so hard and got good grades. But even then, you labeled me as unworthy. You scolded me for getting better grades than my sister. You also said that I was attention-seeking and sly. Well, um... Look, it's all in the past. We're better parents now, I assure you. I don't want to hear your excuses. You never should have showed up here today. Alan and Melanie were the ones that helped me better my self-esteem and learn to be happy. If it weren't for them, I would have remained miserable my entire life. When I was living with you two, I always asked myself, why was I born into this dreadful world? Can we put the past behind us now? It wasn't all our fault. You were responsible too. I hate you both. You're despicable. I never want to see you again. Now leave. How dare you speak to us in this way? I can see that you haven't changed at all. We'll drag you home if that's what it takes. Stop it. Don't come near my daughter. I'm stronger than I look and you can't stop me. My brother-in-law tried to punch me in the face and I was prepared to be punched. What the hell do you think that you're doing to my teacher? Oh, you came. Who is this? What's happening? They are friends of Kiera and they used to attend my academy when they were younger. Melanie briefly explained to everyone about what was taking place in this moment. All seven of Kiera's friends were furious with my sister and her husband, and they kicked the two of them out of my house. Don't come back, you idiots! I'm glad that we were able to assist you. Yes, thank you all so much for being here today. It means a lot to us in Kiara. Yes, it's very nice to see you all again. 
Thank you all for coming to see me. It means a lot. It's nice to see you too, Kiara. We don't need you to purify our place with salt. Go easy on the salt. <laughs> Thank you for helping me get rid of those awful people. We are happy to help. Oh, you're blushing, Ken. You should ask Kiara out. Go on. Stop embarrassing me in front of Kiara. Let's get going now. I'm so glad that my sister and her husband are gone now. The bright side of all of this is that we get to hear Kiara call us mother and father. You're right. And we got to see our former students too. The day turned out alright. Oh, Kiara, you're back. What's wrong, sweetheart? I'm just so annoyed. What is it? I wanted to call you my mother and father in a happier moment, not when I was furious with my stupid birth parents. Hey, don't worry about it. It made us happy all the same. Why are you crying, Dad? I was very happy that you called me mother today as well. I've considered you two my real parents for a long time, but I was too shy to say it out loud. I owe you two so much, and I love you so much. We love you so much too. You shouldn't keep your friends waiting. Go have fun. We'll always be here for you. Thanks, Mom. And thank you both for being the best parents that I could ask for. I'm so happy. <laughs> we won't let your evil birth parents bother you anymore. You have nothing to worry about. I'm off now. Alan and I were happy to see Kiara run off to her friends. Kiara spent a fun night celebrating the coming of age with her friends. We didn't expect to hear from Alan's sister or her husband again, but... Alan! I need your help! Please don't call me. I'm not gonna help you. We're broke and we need to borrow some money from you, please? I don't have any money to lend you. Goodbye. I wouldn't be calling you if it wasn't urgent. Karen didn't turn out to be the person that we had expected her to become. My husband and I spent a lot of money on her education and buying her nice things, but she turned out to be completely useless. Karen's emotionally weak and she's a quitter. She lazes around the house all day and has no motivation to get a job. She gained a lot of weight and she's become real ugly too. She reminds me of Kiara when she was young. Don't compare Kiara to Karen. I'm hanging up now. Wait, please don't hang up. Please help me out. I'm your sister. We spent too much on Karen that now we are in debt. Well, if you have the time to complain to me about Karen, I suggest that you go look for a job so that you can pay back your debts. I already have two jobs. I'm on break right now. Even with two jobs, I don't make enough money to pay back my debts. I really need your help. Well, I'm not going to help you. Please don't call me anymore. Wait, listen to my plan, please. I know that you and Melanie wanted to have children, which is why I gave you Kiara. But how about I give you Karen and take Kiara back? What the hell is wrong with you? You're crazy. It's actually a pretty good plan, don't you think? I disagree. Goodbye, sis. Alan, please don't hang up on me. I then blocked my sister's number so that she couldn't call me anymore. I can't believe that Alan is screening my calls. How dare he? I keep on getting his answering machine. <laughs> Alan, please don't do this to me. I was happy to finally be rid of my dreadful sister. I then moved my academy and home to a different location so that my sister couldn't visit me easily. I wanted to protect Kiara from them at all costs. My parents later told me that my sister and her husband couldn't handle Karen anymore. She had turned into an uncontrollable giant monster. They tried to pay off their debts, but because they didn't make much money, it was an endless cycle for them. Karen began to spend her parents' hard-earned money at nightclubs and caused them to take on even more debt. If my sister and her husband had raised Karen properly, she may not have turned into such a monster. Either way, they all deserve to be punished for the way that they mistreated Kiara. As for Kiara, Melanie, and I, we continue to live a happy life. Former students of my academy continue to be good friends with Kiara, and they come over often. Melanie and I are going to continue taking good care of Kiara until she decides to start a family of her own. Troublebusters!